You're listening to Rebel Spirituality with me, Sam Goldfinch. Here's the truth. Wisdom doesn't follow rules. So each week we're going to explore what it means to wake up your way so you can live a more peaceful, creative and inspired life no matter your circumstances. It's time to blaze your unique path to truth. Hey Rebel friends, just a quick one from me to say if you are interested in hopping into the next mystery school, the doors for that are likely going to open in September. Such an amazing group of people have been in there for for this inaugural launch and uh, it's been some true transformations and it's been just such a wonderful space. So if if you're interested in any way in finding out more, there's a link in the show notes to a wait list. You can just pop your name down and you'll you'll be amongst the first people to find out what's what. Um, And I'll be releasing more information and probably you know, doing some calls and stuff to talk to people to let people know what what will be happening. Um, But I'm really, really excited to take everything that we've learned and and grow it and expand it and uh, turn it into something even more magical. All right, team, I'll hand you over to me in this week's podcast. See you there. Hey, Rebels. Okay, so I thought we'd reflect on what is a very powerful quote. Um, And and it's this, it's by Arnold Payton. He said, uh, we don't create abundance. Abundance is always present. We create limitation. Now, many people have expressed something similar to this, and it looks like it speaks to the subtractive nature of the spiritual journey, to the journey of coming home to the truth of the fact, which is we have everything we've ever needed inside of us. And throughout these videos and throughout these podcasts, I've often spoken about how when we're coming from a place of abundance, when we know what we've got going for us, we approach things very, very differently to when, we, when we're coming from scarcity, to when we're trying to get something from the world. You know, we're trying to create a certain set of circumstances or get the job or get the house or get the car or whatever in order for us to be able to be okay, feel okay. And that equation's backwards, right? If we're trying to play around with the world of form in order to be something, we've innocently got it the wrong way around. Being always comes first. Awareness. Being the true self is the is the start of everything. It's the it's it's the one thing that from which everything else comes. So starting from there means we're in alignment. And when in this quote we don't create abundance, right? Abundance is already present. Like it's already there in that young baby. It's always already there in that tiny kid. And then over time, we innocently create limitation. So Sadhguru talks about dying in installments. He says every time there's a an I can't belief or there's another belief or oh I you know boys don't do that, girls women don't do that, whatever it might be, right? We close the door to another option to ourselves, and then we relate to those kind of limiting in the coaching world. They're called limiting beliefs, but we relate to those things as if they're reality, as if they're actual like glass walls that we bang up against and we're like it's impossible for me i can't do that thing and we we live as if those things are real but they're just created limitations from thought they're just inside right and we can we can reconnect with wisdom and we can allow those things can move through us in any any moment but it's going to come from understanding it's going to come from us understanding how life works understanding that Life is always created from the inside, understanding that we're always feeling thought in the moment. You know, Sidney Banks, he used to say, this isn't about pushing positive thoughts into your head. This is about having a deep understanding of how your experience is created. And he was really kind of real purist of this. He was like, it's super simple. It's just thought, right? He was like, well, you just need to see in any moment, you're only experiencing the principle of thought taking form in the moment. You're feeling, you're thinking, you're not feeling the world. And boom, you're back in alignment with abundance. You know what you've got going for you. You can feel that sense of love, that sense of joy inside of you. You might feel it right now, right? But we're always creating any of the limitations that we believe are there. They're not, they don't exist in nature. They exist in our head, right? And I'm sure there are kind of, I guess, we can talk about the kind of limitations of physics or something like that, right? But ultimately, the limitations that we're talking about in terms of what's possible for us or how wonderful our life can become or how intensely beautiful our life can become there's no limit to that there's like 
Sid was not the only person to say that there are infinite levels of consciousness. Any great spiritual teacher has seen that, has seen that it's uh, it's an infinite game. Consciousness is infinite. There is not a limit to it. And when there isn't a limit to something, we just can't possibly know. There are no limitations on that. And there are no limitations on, as I say, how many wonderful feelings you can experience and when they're going to show up. So one of the, a very common limitation that I've sort of seen again and again is that people have these ideas that, well, I can feel that relaxed and at peace when I'm walking the dog or out in nature or with my grandkids, but I'm not ever going to be able to feel those things at work. Like that's impossible. Limitation, right? There it is. Just the idea that we can't do it. What the thinker thinks, the prover proves. This is how our mind works. And the moment we start to release those limitations, the moment we start to laugh at them, smile at them, realize that just because we've thought something doesn't mean it's true. Just because we've limited ourselves for decades doesn't mean we have to do it anymore. We can let go of that and we can fall into this place of abundance, this inherent wholeness that we all have at the heart of our being, this inherent value that we all have in our soul, this deep creativity and sense of love and peace and clarity and joy that isn't purchased. It's, it's just always there and it always will be. And there's nothing that you or anyone can do or could have done that could have damaged it or taken it away because it's not of this world. It's abundance is formless. It's uh, something that we're all dialed into no matter what. So as you go about your day, as you go about your week, reflect on the ways that you've innocently created limitation for yourself through your thinking and what would happen if you started relating to those things as just, huh, that's just thinking, like it doesn't have to be like that. What could you recreate? How could you recreate yourself from abundance? What would wisdom guide you to do? What would wisdom guide you to let be or let go of? I uh, hope you have the best day. I'll see you soon. Thank you.